Good evening. I'm Harry Keeling, and on behalf of Alaska Public Media and the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation, welcome to Hangar Flying. <clears throat> Our guest this evening is Jen Armstrong. I've had the pleasure of knowing Jen for a couple of years. She's an incredibly talented young woman with boundless energy. Jen grew up traveling around the country uh, as her father was in the Navy. She graduated from the U.S. Air Force Academy, and while there, she was on the swim team. She started her Air Force career as a communication and information officer and served a number of different places stateside, include also overseas, including Korea and Uzbekistan. Jen left the active Air Force and joined the Alaska Air Guard when, when, where she went to pilot training and she's currently flying the C-130. She recently upgraded instructor pilot status in the 130. Jen, thanks for your previous and, and current service. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'd like to start with your ideas on leadership. I know there are young men and women in our audience that hear all that you've done and the opportunities you've had. Um, what would you say to young people who might be interested in going into flying and business? Um, great question, Harry. I think that it starts at a pretty young age these days. Um, I was raised with a, a couple of words that I wasn't allowed to use, and that was I can't and I don't know. And although I didn't realize it at the time, I think that really shaped my work ethic. And so I think that working hard and making good decisions while you're young and then continuing that um, into your adulthood um, really sets you up for opportunities and doors to open. And those could include aviation if that's what they want to go do. But if you work hard and make good, good decisions every day, then those doors and opportunities will present themselves for whatever you want to go pursue. So making good life decisions, mm -hmm. what can that mean? It can mean, especially as a young person, I think these days you have a lot of peer pressure or um, pressures that probably you and I didn't have to um, confront head on when we were younger. And it just means, you know, employers and military and corporations are looking for people that make good decisions all the, t all the time and set themselves up for success. So that could mean, you know, not doing drugs or not getting um, a tattoo um, on your neck or um, certain locations that the military doesn't allow. Um, you know, not drinking and partying and making bad decisions that way. Um, not putting a, a blemish on your record, if you will. Those decisions, those small decisions every day um, can lead to doors opening for you in the future. And, and those are the kind of things that employers are looking for. You know, as a, as a pilot, they rely on us to make good decisions in the air. If you've shown a track record of bad decision making, then that usually doesn't set yourself up for success and, um, and being a potential hire for those kinds of or organizations. What, a, what great advice. So folks out in the audience, uh, young people out in the audience, it, it boils down to this. If you want to be like Jen and become an Air Force officer, don't do something stupid when you're young because it'll stay with you forever. Mm -hmm. Make good life decisions. Um, you know, um, we've talked about leadership and flying a little bit, and I want to have I want to get get you back on the program and talk a little bit about uh, flying the C-130 and about the Guard. But let's talk a little bit about um, your business, un the unmanned aircraft mm -hmm. business. What 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 does your business do, and what and what did uh, Peak Three or Three Peaks do? Um, well, I started uh, the small business along with my partners about five years ago, and we were involved with unmanned aircraft services. So that encompasses anything from um, providing subject matter experts, operators, maintainers across the country and around the world flying all sorts of different unmanned aircraft or also referred to as drones. Um, we're talking about the same thing here. Um, so services could be anything from operations to consulting to program development for companies that are looking in, looking to get into this industry. Um, and then about a year and a half ago, we were acquired by an East Coast company called Argentech Solutions. And um, they're just a bigger uh, peak three. They provide services all over the world in support of uh, troops on the ground overseas um, or commercial companies overseas and across the states as well. So I'm going to take this opportunity to tell our audience that uh, we are welcoming with open arms unmanned aircraft organizations 
and pilots into the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation. Uh, Argentech, uh, Alaska Aerial Media, or, or, uh, Worley, Par Worley Parsons are t three companies that do unmanned aircraft, and they are all corporate sponsors in the Safety Foundation. And what, what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is this. We're all going to share the airspace. We, in the Safety Foundation, don't want to be on the sidelines. We want to be right in the middle of it and welcome companies like, uh, like the company that Jen, Jen works for. Um, and it, it's what the future is all about. Jen, we've run out of time today. I'd like to get you back in and talk about the Guard. So um, if you agree, we'll have you back on the program. And I appreciate your being on tonight. You bet. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed tonight's program. And until next time, fly safe.